So the Trump interview is still going on, but all the meat and potatoes have been eaten. She's answering some Q&A right now. Basically, not a whole lot of new stuff coming out of that Q&A. You know, they're working on a vaccine, but it's going to be at least a year until we get that vaccine. Some optimism, you know, we've got the best doctors in the world. The United States is the most prepared country to deal with an outbreak. And we barely had anyone. We took very early measures, closing down the borders, not letting people from China come in. And that's clearly having a, an effect on our state of coronavirus here in the United States. So we're good, it seems, right now. Now, Italy is getting a whole lot more cases. Same thing with Iran, South Korea, Japan. It's definitely spreading, and it's spreading quickly. Um, and the markets have been down three consecutive days. You know, today we opened up, and we were up for a while, and we came down. Why was that? Well, we were very volatile, all over the place. Nobody seems to know where the bottom is, and we just kind of fell through the floor and shot down and then continued to shoot down and lost our, at one point, like 1.9% gains. So it is what it is. Um, I do think coronavirus might get overhyped at some point, and I think that point is coming up pretty quick. So a couple things we need to realize is, yes, it's a new virus, but it's infected way less people than the flu, and it's not a very lethal virus. You know, 2 to 3% death rate, that's really only affecting old people. You know, I get it. I've said that this is coming for a long time and the market hasn't been pricing it in. And the market hasn't been pricing it in. Market also hasn't been pricing in the chance that Bernie wins. Prices of stocks and other financial assets have been incredibly inflated. And now the catalysts are in that are going to shoot them down. So we're going to see a bit of a sell-off. People are selling right now. They're, they're selling. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of things and catalysts that can throw things out of whack. So a lot of people are selling and uh, that's causing the market to sell off. So not a whole lot to report right here. You know, let's just remain complacent. Be in cash if you haven't sold positions that you think can go farther, which I believe are high China exposure, high multiple and energy positions. You should consider selling all of those or trimming them down. Getting in cash and then waiting a couple weeks, a couple days, however long it is until we hit the bottom or a bottom to find underpriced assets is always a good decision. And right now we're entering a sale. It's, you know, the Black Friday of stocks. Black Friday of stocks is gonna be coming up. So let's get in cash and be ready to pounce. Until tomorrow, peace.